Hi everyone! It's been a while. I haven't filmed a video in about two weeks and that's because my husband and two kids and I have been traveling. We spent about five days in Reykjavik, Iceland and we just arrived here in Paris to extend our vacation. So we have checked into the lovely Hotel Regina. We booked the family suite on the top floor. It is roomy enough for our family. Kids room here has bunk beds and a third bed if you have a larger family. And there's a separate bathroom with kid-sized bathrobes and slippers which was a nice touch. There's my son. We are heading to the common area to unpack. My husband is pulling out the slippers. That's the first thing we do when we arrive anywhere. And here I am checking out the view. Beautiful, beautiful sunlight. Nice day on our day of arrival. And I'm just going to give you a quick little tour here. This is our side of the suite. The hotel is actually really centrally located, so it was easy to walk to many places. Besides walking, we did a lot of eating. And of course, there's all the shops, which you would expect means I did a lot of shopping, but I did not. This is not your typical Paris haul kind of video. This is just me sharing highlights of where we've been as we're walking around enjoying the city. I didn't actually go into any of these stores. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know that. I just enjoyed from the outside. There was nothing at all that I was looking to buy from any of these stores, so I didn't want to spend our precious time going in just to look. Almost all of these stores, if not all of them, are available in NYC back home, so I don't necessarily need to go in. And so I just really enjoyed the city. This is my favorite photo that I took in Paris, so beautiful. And this shop, actually, I did go in. Uh, every city we go to, we try to find a bookstore, and apparently this bookstore is the most popular in all of Paris. And this is the line, it's called Shakespeare and Company. We went in, it was beautiful. My kids picked out two books each and we popped back out. Then of course, we had to go see the beautiful Eiffel Tower at night. So, so gorgeous when it's lit up. We went up and we had dinner reservations at Madame Brasserie. So here we are with the gorgeous views and the food was delicious. Also, we saw many engagement proposals all around us so it's very romantic and yeah it was just a really lovely night you can see all the food that we ate this isn't even all of it i forgot to take photos of all of them then we head out to the louvre the next day it's about a two minute walking distance from hotel regina but unfortunately there were protests so the protesters had shut down the louvre entirely <laughs> We were definitely bummed not to be able to head into the Louvre, but we decided to take a detour into the Luxembourg Gardens, which was absolutely perfect. Just taking in the crisp, fresh air, sitting in one of these chairs, people watching for about an hour. It was actually the perfect respite for our day. And then we head over to a very popular ramen place and had some noodles, which were delicious. If you've watched Emily in Paris, this is the wall of love. I love you, written in all different languages, super cool. 
And as we head back to Paris proper, here's another Louis Vuitton store with the famous Kusama uh, statue. There she is. And here is Cartier. Actually, this is one of the stores I was going to go in, but as I was standing here, no lines, I said to my husband, there's really nothing that I want, so let's not. So we actually didn't. I just took some of these photos for you guys. Here's one of the Justin Clue rings. And here is the bracelet, a rather large size one. Oh, and I did pop into the swatch store to take a peek at the Omega collab that they did with the moon swatches and it's kind of cool you get the omega sort of vibe on a swatch for a fraction of the price and from what i understand these sell out daily but they refresh with new deliveries it's not limited edition you just have to catch them and here i am at cezanne i wanted to come here so badly there is actually a store in manhattan that i haven't been to yet but i really wanted to stop by one of their paris based shops Here's another variation of their classic Milo bag with the toggle opening. This bag was really interesting. The entire store, as you can see, is beautifully curated. Every inch is so thoughtfully planned. The layouts, the colors. Here are the two sizes side by side, and I discovered that the mini size, unfortunately, the back pocket is not big enough to fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Here's a beautiful straw toad as part of their new collection. And here is their denim collection, lots of different styles. And here's a little bit of a seating area just to rest and take a break. The store was just lovely. The entire staff was really courteous and helpful. Here I am in the dressing room, bad lighting, but I grabbed two of their very popular tomboy shirts, which is what I came for and I absolutely love it. It's a really nice weight, very soft, and the fit was excellent. 
I already own a couple of sweaters from Cezanne, so I can attest to the quality of their clothing and I'm really happy to pick up more pieces while I'm here. And then this one, totally random, snakeskin gold metallic. I thought it was super cute. And more eye candy here. Unfortunately, I did not see the bag that I was hoping to see, which was the lizard embossed Milo bag, but that's okay because as you can see, plenty of eye candy to enjoy otherwise. And it was just a really lovely shopping experience. So here's more, lots of pink, variations of pink. If you wanted to stamp any of your leather items with monogram, you could do that. But here I am at checkout. Even the shopping bag is so beautiful. I got exactly what I wanted and I head out. So thank you to Cezanne for a lovely experience. And this is me. I've got my Atelier's Auguste bag, Mini Monceau. And then I am headed to Hermes. Yes, my favorite Hermes store. This one is so beautiful. The last time I was here was about three years ago, so it's nice to be back. Before this was an Hermes store years ago, this location was actually a huge indoor swimming pool. A little fun fact for those of you who didn't know. Here we are downstairs and I'm just sharing as many photos as I can so that it feels like you're here with me. Look at this beautiful horse object. And we go into the bags. Yes, the bag area. This is a little bolide bag and it's got wheels and this is going for 12,200 euros. And then we've got the mini Lindy here. Super cute if you're into this style. This is the ostrich leather. And here we've got more bags, lots of eye candy. So I'll be quiet so you can enjoy the background noise as well. Do you hear all that excited chatter in the background? Uh, here is a special Birkin, and this one is going for 16,700 euros. And here we have a beautiful Constance, and just more, lots and lots of beautiful eye candy. If you're an Hermes fan. <laughs> I think you guys know I don't own any Hermes sneakers or shoes. I have been looking for the bouncing sneaker in my size even back home and they never have it so I've pretty much given up. But here is some more eye candy, ready to wear, gorgeous coats, bright pops of color here. I love the variety and the details. Look at the details on this. And this one is super cool, the black and white. I'm always gravitating towards these intricate designs from Hermes in the black and white. What do you think? And here are the belts. My favorite Kelly belt is not shown here. And then we've got a cap and a necklace and the her bag. Are you guys a fan of the her bag? Let me know in the comments below.
and just more exploring such a light airy beautiful design inside this store we looked at the home goods because that's one of my favorite categories One of the things that I really appreciate about Hermes is that they have a lot of different categories and such cool, interesting objects to admire. Like these I've never seen. I think these are pencil cases. And I've never seen these card holders back in any of the New York stores. So I don't know, it's just a really nice visit. Here we are in the jewelry section. I did ask to see a couple pieces, but unfortunately none of them were available. My husband was trying to get some ideas as well, but as I was sitting here thinking about everything that I already have and enjoy, I said, you know, I don't really want to buy anything for myself. So I actually did buy one little goodie, but it's a surprise and it's not for me. I will share it later in an upcoming video but here it is in this little bag but otherwise that was it about two hours total of shopping over a five day period in paris which means that 99 percent of the time we just enjoyed the city exploring and eating and enjoying quality time as a family thank you so much for watching leave me a comment down below and i will see you in the next one Bye bye